Today, music superstar Taylor Swift's close friend Kelly Teller disappointed fans of famous couple Travis Taylor because she posted a photo that made many people suspicious. On Instagram, Kelly posted a photo of the box containing the precious opal ring that Taylor Swift wore to her 34th birthday party in New York. There will be nothing worth mentioning because all fans think it is Travis Kelsey's love gift for his girlfriend Taylor Swift. But Kelly thought differently, she confirmed that the ring was a birthday gift she gave Swift, it's worth remembering that Taylor Swift held a birthday party in New York on December 13, where she showed off her ring. Just one day later, December 14, the press spread a photo of Swift showing off the ring with her friend Kelly Teller and husband Miles Teller, but on December 20, Miles Teller and Kelly Sperry were spotted at a diamond store in Beverly Hills. And just two days later, December 22, Kelly denied that the ring was a gift from Travis Kelsey, welcome back to NATFL beautiful angels, have you decorated the tree yet? And we're just about to finish the fireplace area. Work is so busy, but the kids keep asking us to find Travte decorations. But now there are so many options, I don't know what to buy. Now, please prepare hot tea or coffee according to your preference, in this video I will talk about the lies in Kelly's statement. Travis and Taylor are clearly a perfect couple. Please watch until the end and remember to subscribe to the channel so we can see each other again tomorrow, angels. Let's go! Today on Instagram, Taylor Swift's friend Kelly Teller posted a photo of the opal gemstone ring that Taylor wore at a birthday party in New York, along with a shocking message, love this ring I had made for me friend, she is bejeweled, so to all media outlets and Melissa at DX, here you go, immediately, fans of the couple Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift reacted harshly to Kelly, because people still believed it was a love ring that Kelsey gave Swift on her birthday, however, fans have. Their reasons after claiming that Kelly's words were lies, intended to distract their attention from America's queen and king, we also quickly found out the reason behind Kelly's statement. In photos taken on December 14, the day after Swift's birthday party in New York, Taylor Swift is seen showing off an eye-catching ring, which she wears on her right middle finger, to friends my friends are Miles Teller and his wife, Kelly Sperry, it is an oversized opal gem with a halo of dark gems on the outside. In the photo, Sperry, 31, is holding the lover singer's hand as she takes a closer look at Swift's jewelry, since Swift was spotted wearing the jewelry, Swifties have claimed that the ring was a love gift from her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, at the birthday party. Guests included Blake Lively, Sabrina Carpenter, Anthony Porowski, Jack Antonoff, the Hyam sisters, Gigi Hadid, and more. Swift's longtime friend Abigail Anderson, who was mentioned in her hit song, 15, also appeared with the group in the photos. The group celebrated at Ben's Arbor, a cocktail bar above famous New York City hotspot Freeman's, while Swift was celebrating her big day, Swift accidentally got the ring distorted at one corner, so she asked the Teller couple to have it repaired. That's why on December 20, Miles Teller and his wife Kelly Sperry were spotted jostling in a luxury Christmas shopping mall, with less than a week left until the big day, the hot Hollywood couple visited 14 Carats, a jeweler in Beverly Hills that specializes in diamonds. As he crossed the parking lot, the smoldering top gun, Maverick Heartthrob, could be seen swinging a small bag from the store. The 36-year-old movie star showed off his dapper figure in a stylish brown jacket fitted to highlight his muscular arms. Meanwhile, Kelly, who married Miles in 2019, donned a long multicolored coat with jagged stripes to fight the cold. She exuded holiday cheer as she strolled through the parking lot. Accessorizing her outfit with a black leather Chanel bag that matched her flats, this wasn't actually a shopping trip for the couple. They took the ring to a diamond shop to have it repaired. This comes about a week after Taylor accidentally deformed the ring at her 34th birthday party in New York. Taylor stunned her Swifties by modeling a giant opal and topaz ring and showing it off for the cameras on her epic birthday. A Taylor Swift fan account on TikTok called Swift Inc. posted a video theorizing that the jewelry was a gift from Travis Kelsey. The super fan pointed out that topaz is Taylor's birthstone and opal is Travis as well as Taylor calling Opal her favorite stone. To support the TikToker's theory, the video received likes from Kelly, 
who along with Miles is rumored to be the matchmaker for Taylor and Travis, and as you all know, today Kelly made a statement about the ring on social media, all the information about the ring, we believe is actually a meaningful gift from her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, and Kelly's statement is only intended to reduce media attention after Christmas. Birth is approaching. But Kelly couldn't fool her fans, Travis and Taylor are clearly the perfect couple, the king and queen of America. A recent op-ed urged Taylor Swift, 34 and dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, to get married. Here's what the conversation is missing. As a behavioral economist and lifelong bachelor, I should no longer be surprised by how comfortable married people are telling single people how to live. Among elsewhere, this unsolicited advice can be found on high-profile opinion pages, with an array of articles advising singles to marry sooner rather than later in order to live a more fulfilling life. A recent Deseret News op-ed urged 34-year-old Taylor Swift, currently dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, to get married. According to this piece, Swift could then find stability and contentment. Diverging from a path of serial monogamy and public heartbreaks, often referenced in her lyrics. And by marrying now, she would improve her chances to have kids, something the pop star has acknowledged as a potential goal. When I was 34, I threw myself a bachelor party as a new professor at the University of Colorado Boulder. Fifteen friends visited my new home for a weekend of hiking, poker, wiffleball, tailgating and the obligatory bar crawl. In the United States, 50% of adults are unmarried, 28% live alone, and Pew Research projects that by the time they reach middle age, as many as 25% of millennials will never marry. Pew also reports that 50% of single adults in the United States are not actively looking for sex or romance. Their temporary or permanent disinterest in love or lust is varied and revealing. 44% simply enjoy being single, and 47% have other life priorities taking precedence. Like Swift, they may be making art, building a business or both. I don't know Taylor Swift, nor do I know most of the 127 million unmarried adults in the United States. Yet I contend that the former serves as a powerful, positive role model for the latter, especially young women. By all the evidence, Swift is resilient, creative and courageously embracing her wholeheartedness, whether dating or not. Taylor Swift appears to exemplify a subset of singles that I call solos, distinct from the kind of person who feels incomplete until they someday find the one. Solos are wholehearted and celebrate their autonomy while remaining connected to friends, family and community. They think unconventionally about relationships, and about life in general. These perspectives challenge traditional notions of singlehood, offering an empowering alternative to waiting, sometimes hopelessly, for Mr. or Ms. Wright to come along. Solos may welcome romance, for example, making plans to spend a cozy holiday season together in their Bose new $6 million Kansas City mansion. Solos, however, do not feel incomplete in the meantime. Swift seems not to be one of those people who drop their friends every time a boy comes along. She is dedicated to her girl gang, as the almost non-stop coverage of her nights out with her female friends shows, and her community of Swifties. If you have any doubts about Swift's unconventional perspective, check out her Time Person of the Year Instagram post featuring the magazine cover of her and one of her three cats. In her announcement, she makes the stereotype of the cat lady look cool to her 278 million followers. Being single is about one's relationship status. Going solo is about one's perspective. My transformation from single to solo occurred in three phases. My autonomy and self-reliance began to develop early in life, being the son of a financially struggling single mom. I had to learn to parent myself at a young age, becoming so adept at self-sufficiency that a girlfriend's mom remarked to her, he doesn't need you. Mom thought that was a bug, but I believe it to be a feature of a healthy relationship in which partners choose each other, interdependent rather than codependent. I recognized my wholeheartedness as a result of an acute heartbreak in my thirties. I thought I would ride the relationship escalator with a smart, funny fashionista. However, she wanted kids, and I did not, 
which brought the relationship to an end. As I was grieving, hard, I had a moment of insight when I realized, I am happy when I am single. Not less than. Not incomplete. My unconventional perspective about relationships, and about life more generally, occurred as part of my solo podcast, as I realized how fulfilling a broad array of relationships can be, and why important relationships should be given the same high status that a marriage has. Fortunately, people have given up and stopped asking me, so, is there anyone special? However, with the holidays here, too many singles, especially women, who typically experience more strident and insidious pressure than men, will face that question. Swift's songwriting is often praised for its honesty and emotional depth. She has a knack for capturing the complexities of human relationships. Her song All Too Well shows her ability to write about single experiences filled with vivid details and poignant lyrics. Indeed, Swift's journey, marked by professional achievements and personal growth, resonates with young audiences, showing how to navigate life's challenges while maintaining wholeheartedness whether in or out of a relationship. Given the global rise of singles, it is fortunate there are other ways to live remarkably besides starting a family. Rather than pressure people to conform to traditional relationship trajectories in order to avoid heartbreak, we can better teach young people to manage the inevitable ups and downs of love and life. Failure is inescapable in areas like art, business, athletics and love, but it does not define life. It's about embracing the journey, with its successes and heartbreaks, and the personal growth and meaning we find along the way. In this way, I hope Swift and her fans determine the success of a relationship not by its length or whether it results in a wedding, but rather by the meaning and the growth it spurs. The societal narrative presenting marriage as a pathway to fulfillment overlooks the rich diversity of life choices. It's time to recognize and celebrate the different paths, whether they involve marriage, singlehood or some other style of relationship. Ultimately, it's not about whether I or anyone else Taylor Swift included marries or not. May we all craft our own epic anthems from our unique adventures in love and life.